Sony's MPE processors are at the heart of live 3D production, providing control over virtually every aspect of 3D workflow, from rig control to fixing 3D problems in post and stitching multiple cameras into a seamless output. Now, Sony harnesses the power of this amazing image processor by adding the ability to integrate live video directly into models created in popular 3D animation software, and then rendering it all in real time. So let me explain how the MPE processor works. First of all, the MPE processor integrates perfectly with the MVS switcher. So I'm going to call up this uh, particular uh, still right here, and I'm going to call up an MPE effect. Now, calling up an MPE effect is a lot like calling up a DDR. It has time code, it has clip names. We can go over to the device menu here, and we can see all the different names of the effects directly from the MPE. And so just like you're used to with device control, I can call up these effects directly from here, or I can call them up from a shop box or anywhere on the control panel. So I'm going to load this effect, and you can see up here on the device control module that it loaded it, and we're at the beginning of the effect. We're going to go ahead and run it. So now you can see what I've got here is I have four different videos. These are all fed from aux buses, so I can put whatever I want into them. I can come over here and put these. I can even come maybe on the bottom one and put an ME bank into it. Do a dissolve, maybe even a wipe inside of it if I wanted to. It doesn't matter. They're just fed by plain old aux buses on the switcher. I'm going to finish this effect since I paused it in the middle, and we can see that it kind of opens up and reveals the MVS logo. Let me rewind that again, and we'll start again. We'll run it. And now it'll reveal off back to my daughter. Let's call up another effect here. This is kind of an effect with a whole bunch of boxes. I call it monitors. It's got some live rendered 3D text on the edge you can see there. Now, one of the really cool things about the effects box is, is that I can jog it backwards. All this is rendered real time, so I don't have to worry about, you know, something re-rendering, anything like that. You can see here I've got the 3D text on the side, and remember that all the video in this is live. So I can change the aux bus here, I can put an ME bank in it again, do a wipe if I want, and I can even jog it while it's wiping. All this again is rendered in real time. Let me go to another particular effect here called Cityscape. I'm going to run this, and look what it does. This is the ultimate in replay wipes. I'm able to go from one particular video, go through an entire city with all the video live, you can see it moving in there, coming up full. Now, let me show you another really cool feature. Not only can I move this around if I wanted to, like we did before, I can move the camera position, I can rotate where the camera is to take a look at the backside of these billboards or any of the city. I can go and zoom into the city if I wanted to. And notice here that the quality is just great because it's being rendered. It's not just blowing up pixels. But I can sit here and say something like, well, I wish it wasn't quite so bright daylight. Inside of our menu, I can go to the MPE menu. And I have direct control over whatever parameters the artist wants me to have. In this case, I can adjust this light color and maybe take it down to 50%. Or if I want to go for a full darkness, maybe take it down to 20% for nighttime. And again, I can run the effect. I can rewind it, run it again. And now, it's nighttime outside. Another one I'm kind of fond of is this puzzle effect. It allows me again to maybe go up here, do a replay, go up here, change the video underneath. And when it's done, the puzzle piece goes away to my other two kids. Let me show you one more effect. This is kind of a film strip effect. Here's all four videos going through this film. Let me pause it really quick here. And again, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And let's rotate it. And we can see that no matter what, I'm going to play it again. We can see the film going, turning. And again, one more time, just because I can, I can switch any of these inputs. And again, coming back over to here, doing a wipe inside, anything I want, all while it's running live. 